Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Well, winter is almost upon us. We're almost at the end of fall. And I think of times when you or I have been outside and it's really cold and you come into a warm environment, whether it's your house or a building or at work or whatever it is, and it's been so cold outside, you come inside and you sense the warmth and it's so airy in there and you you feel like, oh, this feels so good. And you go, ah. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I do that by the fire at our house, you know, when it's really cold. I'll go to the fire when I come inside and I'll go, oh, <laughs> you come out of the cold. In our text, it says this, and this is John the Baptist speaking. And we talked about the first half of this verse yesterday, but now we're going to talk about the second half. He said this, I baptize you with water for repentance. But he was coming after me as mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. We talked about the humility of John the Baptist yesterday, as you remember. And it says this, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. What's he talking about there? Well, he's talking about Jesus who would anoint and baptize the disciples on Pentecost Day. You remember there was a mighty rushing wind that day. They spoke in various tongues. The Holy Spirit descended. And the sign of that was there's tongues of fire on top of the disciples' heads. And what did Peter do? He proclaimed salvation through faith in Jesus alone. Now, I want you to think about the people that were in town that day. People had come from all around the Mediterranean Sea for Pentecost Day. Most of them, just about all of them, who were entrenched in Jewish traditions. Of course, they were coming there for the Festival of Booths. And they had heard maybe a little bit about Jesus of Nazareth, but Peter preached this penetrating, powerful, and pointed sermon about salvation being rooted and founded in him. Now think about the coldness that those people were in entrenched in traditionalism, thinking salvation was only earned by their works, understanding that they were separated from God and maybe in the cold trenches of their lonely heart and their guilt and shame and sin and doubt and despair, they needed the light and the warmth of God's love. And that's exactly what Peter gave them on that day. Their guilt and shame was gone. Their worry and doubt and fear had been overcome by the warmth and the light of God's love for them in Jesus Christ. And they asked a very important question, what are we to do? And what did Peter say? Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. So they came out of the cold into the warmth of God's love. My friend, have you been away from the warmth of God's love for a time and you might be saying, well, where do you experience, where do you find that warmth of God's love? In the word, in the sacrament. Maybe you've been away from church for a while. And because of that, the sin and the shame and guilt and doubt and despair and anxiety and worry and fear, the coldness of all that is just overwhelming you. Can I encourage you to go back to church, get back into the word if you've been kind of wandering away for a while, get back into the word, get back into church, receive the proclamation of God's word that indeed we are broken sinners, that we sinned against God, that we repent of our sin and put our trust in Jesus. And then the warmth of God's love can penetrate your stole, cold, stubborn, and resisting heart and bring you the warmth of God's incredible, magnificent, amazing, unparalleled love revealed through Jesus, his only son. God loves you. He sent his son Jesus to die for you and to rise again for you. And through repentance and faith in what Jesus has done, you're a child of God and your sins are forgiven. And maybe you've been away from church for a while and you don't hear that consistently and it's like you're out in the cold. Come back into the light. Come back into the warmth. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a vacancy right now at a precious place called Mount Hope Lutheran Church. And the very first Sunday I was there, there was only about 40 or 50 people there, but the very first Sunday I was there, I looked at each one of their precious faces as I was preaching the word, and I said to myself, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I belong, at least for now. I'm preaching God's word and I see the warmth and the light of God's love in each one of their faces. It was powerful. Have you been missing that? 
Have you been kind of like an island all alone, not experiencing the warmth of God's love, not only in the word and sacrament, which you receive when you come to church, but also being in fellowship and community with other Christians where you see the love of God and the light of Christ's love and the warmth of God's care for you expressed in people's faces? Come out of the cold. Come into the warmth of God's love. <laughs> um, when I was at Peace Lutheran Church as a pastor, every once in a while I got a Sunday off where I didn't have to do anything but just come and worship with my wife. And every time I went into the church and Pastor Tim would preach and I'd receive the sacrament and I was just a, a regular parishioner, I just loved it. And I could have stayed there all day. I think of the psalmist who said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Why did he say that? Because when he came into the house of the Lord, there was warmth there. The psalmist could sit by the fire of God's love and say, oh, <laughs> friend, you need to do that too. If you've been away from God's house for a while, come out of the cold, come into the warmth. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.